thank you for the introduction. And I'm just going to say a few words. I don't want to take up a lot of time because I know there's such good work uh, going on here. But I'd first like to give everyone, and let's give ourselves a round of applause for just being here and being introduced to all these people. Uh, exciting projects that are going on. I'd also like to thank Kian and Sarkis for hosting this event and inviting me to speak today. So thank you for your vision and bringing everyone together. So, Technology, of course, is transforming the way we do business. It's transforming the way we stay connected with our friends and family. And yes, it's transforming the way we perform our work. Some studies show that technology is changing the jobs and skills faster than organizations or people can adapt. But we must realize that technological transformation is here to stay, and it's a key to our success. So during my career, I have overseen IT for approximately 20 years, and overseen the CIO for the County of Santa Barbara and San Francisco State. And I have a little bit different philosophy than maybe is traditional, because I don't necessarily believe in strategic planning in IT, because in my opinion, sometimes it takes too long, and we're trying to adapt faster. And I think that technology should be focused on customers' needs, and in order to focus on customer needs, we have to move quickly. And I think it's the smaller projects that actually are the key to our success, and it's these smaller projects that can address our customers' needs. For example, all the myriad of different approaches that I see here today, with all these little the projects that we have, are just amazing. And I think all of that because you know your business better than anyone else, and you know the business better than people that don't work here at UCI, and you know them better than consultants, and the ideas have to come from you. And I also believe that technology should not take years to implement, because if we take years to implement, by the time we implement it, it's outdated. So I think we should always take these larger projects that we have and break them down into short wins, whether they be 90-day wins. That's the philosophy that we try to take with the With You, For You app. We have the framework that we develop, but we try to come up with a cadence of every 90 days, we're launching another kind of project to help people do business. For example, travel, or if it's emergency contacts, or in the future you'll see virtual escorts, and hopefully it'll help us as we implement our youth using pass system. So I encourage you to be the voice and to seek resources to be able to implement these projects because I think that they're great investments in time. And for you that are supervisors and managers, you have to set aside part of your budget to invest in these. Be ready for your staff to be asking for these resources and be ready to fund them because that's part of your leadership responsibility. And so you're helping your staff look to the future and provide those resources to them. And remember, using technology is not about replacing people. I mentioned this on my first day when I arrived here at UC at Irvine, is that I made a commitment to the fact that we will be doing a lot of process and changes, and people may be doing work a little bit differently, but that in my whole career, that I've never laid anybody off because of technological improvements. So that we have to be open to doing things differently, but we're committed to the staff that we have, and we have to train them so that they can continue to use technology and to move forward. So it's not about replacing people, it's about leveraging technology for effectiveness and efficiency. So of course if we need more resources because we have more students, a more workload, more complexity, I ask you to look and see what technology can provide to help you make your job easier versus adding more people, but I think that technology can help us uh, move forward with our vision, right? And I think that you as leaders and you as uh, uh, people committed to use your vibe have to set a time, set aside time to uh, plan for technology. So there's a image that they have the Lean Six Sigma where it shows a man chopping down a tree with the axe, and someone is trying to get his attention, and the can the caption states, "I've got too much work to do to stop and listen to you." The man is trying to get his attention is offering a chainsaw for him to cut down the tree a tool that can be used to get the job done faster. And that same lesson goes to us. And you as leaders, and you as managers, and you as advocates for IT, 
is we have to set aside time so that we're looking at what type of technological improvements can be made, right? So that we can not just think about doing things the same way, think about doing them differently. When we look at the technology that's being provided to all our constituents out there, when they order things in the morning, when they come to work, when they come home, they're on their doorstep, they expect the same thing from us when they ask for services from us, right? We have to adapt because otherwise, we're gonna be uh, not relevant, right? We have to make sure that we are adapting to these changes as well that are occurring outside of the university. And that's the measure that some of our customers are comparing us with, right? They want this speed, they want customer service, they want response. And so in order for us to be relevant and to continue to provide this service to this university and to continue on the glide path that we are, we have to be set aside this time and the resources. So I think with that, um, I don't want to uh, close, and I'll just say I always like to put in a plug for the With You For You app. I hope everybody has uh, had a chance to see it, download it, and if you'd like to see items on the With You For You app that would make things easier, let us know. Because the idea behind it is that customers don't need to know what department the service is coming from. They only want to know to get the service, right? And the With You For You app can help. And if you'd like to have things on, or partner with us, or we can partner with you, you let us know. Well, I'll close there and just say, mighty impressive. I walked around earlier to each of the booths, and uh, UCI is just such quite an impressive place, and that's because of you and having the foresight to take time to have this conference. So hopefully my words have helped a bit, but I thank uh, thanks to all of you. Thank you very much. <laughs>